Episode 9. The world suddenly stops. Suddenly, one forgets everything. Everything one knows and the heart forgets. Everyone. Sometimes life is just a moment simply frozen in one's eyes. Everything else is just a great big lie. It makes me so happy that we're all here together. Having dinner tonight. My mother, my husband, my brother, and my friend are all here. Kareem, do you know what I wished for in Aya Yorgi? You won't tell us, will you? It won't come true then. But it already did. You're here with me. To be living a real love, like in the fairy tales and movies. My wish has come true. But I don't know how long it'll last. Maybe not for too long. Maybe before I can't get enough of living. Celine, dear, come on. Come, don't talk like that. Don't say such things, please. Please, now. You're right, though. What's the point in remembering fate at such a lovely moment as this one? <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Are you okay? Mm hmm. Look, a wishing tree. The poor tree. Why? People are just tying strings on it. They're not breaking the tree branches or uprooting it. And that's a very old belief. It's crazy. But your wishes won't come true if you say such things. People even had wish trees in the old days. What are you doing? We'll make a wish. With the scarf that I bought you? But you said it didn't look good anyway. Here, now make a wish. What was your wish? Can I say my wish out loud? We're lovers. We don't hide stuff from each other. That's right. So, what'd you wish for? I wished for a life full of love and happiness for us both. And I wish for you. Just for you. I wish for you to be by my side until the day we both die. Nothing else matters. I'm fine. Phyllis, where's dessert already? I'll bring it right away, miss. <clears throat> Ken, come with me for a second. Why? What happened? We need to talk about something. Why are you leaving? Talk about it right here. It's about work. At this hour? Ken's decided to take his business very seriously. Hasn't he told you that? I don't want to bore you guys with work. It won't take us long. Come on, Ken. I don't know what to think about Mother. What do you mean? She's always thinking about work, even at the dinner table. But you'll be making those things easier for her now. I don't get it. How will he do that? Kareem has started working for the company. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Mom's very happy. She wants him to learn everything quickly, so that she can rest. 
Congratulations. Thank you. But it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal? Darling, but why are you being so humble about this job? He'll already be on the board at the next meeting. I'm sure that the partners will want him to train more, but I know exactly what I'll say to them. My dear, can we not talk about this now? No, I'm really curious. What will you say? Someone who's as clever as Kareem is can't just be a manager. And of course, he's my husband. He'll definitely be assigned to be on the board the first thing. But the very idea bothers me. One should earn this kind of thing. You don't need to feel bad. You already deserve it. But I'm not used to things like this. Companies and board meetings. I don't want it, really. But I want it. You have a right. Oh, but... But Ken, are you aware of what you're doing? No, what? Why did you invite Anna to dinner? Why wouldn't I? There's something about her that bothers me. I don't understand what bothers you. You understand what I'm saying. I know you do. <sighs> oh, I see. Of course, we're one of the most respected families in Istanbul. <sighs> you know it, Ken. I don't want you to be getting as close as you were getting to Anna. What about Celine? Do you approve of her getting to be as close as she is to Kareem? You don't have to mix things up. Kareem is Celine's... Ah, Kareem is a bit special. Really, who is Kareem? A damned parasite. A free rider. Do you think he's a decent man just because he signed the prenup? You know I don't think that. I put up with him solely for Celine's sake. You'll do the same and I don't want to hear any more. Shall I take Miss Natalia and Mr. Ken's desserts upstairs? No, leave them right here, please. I'll go and get them. Shame on them for leaving. So I'm having dinner with the Viral Holding Board member nominee, Mr. Kareem now, right? Anna, I beg you. And I thought you were with Celine because you pitied her. But it seems that- Don't be silly. I didn't want to work for the company. I'm sure. You don't understand, Anna. Look, I don't care for the board one little bit, or for this kind of life. I don't care for them. I only care about you. I love you. Yes, I do believe you. You can't leave this because you love me so much. I'll leave it. Be patient. You won't do it. You won't be able to leave all this. All of these club perks and then also having to quit being a board member. No, stop. That's not true. I don't care for any one of them. Then prove it to me. Shame on you. You left for two minutes, but you didn't come back. The ice cream has already melted. You're right, dear. But when we're discussing work, I know you can't control yourself when it's about work, but you should come back. Come on. <laughs> Ken, is it a deal, my son? You'll do as I say. No, I won't do it. So what's going on? Nothing. Let's go back to the table. Come on. You're going to tell them everything when they come back. And you'll tell her that you married her for her money and that we had a huge debt to pay. You'll tell her that I planned this whole thing. And then I'll believe you. But you won't do it. Yes, I will. Oh, no, you won't. Yes, I will. Then your poor Celine will die of a broken heart. You know it. You're right. It'll be bad. But if that's the only way to make you believe in me, I'll do it. Don't promise if you don't mean it. <laughs> 